Hey guys, welcome back to our vlog. We are in Dubai. Ooh, Dubai, I love it. Oh, good morning guys. Welcome back to our channel. Oh, we're gonna have an adventure today. Uh, today we're supposed to take a nice, easy flight to Dubai, leave in the afternoon, short layover, get there early in the morning. And late last night, about midnight, we get a email or a notification saying that our flight's been canceled. So now it gave us like a list of flights to choose from to, to switch it to. And the only one it would let us accept is to leave at like 10 o'clock this morning and then have an all night layover in Istanbul and then leave at like six in the morning from Istanbul. So. You need a, 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 visa? a visa to go out in the airport in Istanbul and we don't have our visas and this is going to be an adventure. We still don't have seats assigned. We couldn't even pick them. So we're follow gonna, along with us and Istanbul or Copenhagen see today. if this adventure gets really ugly or if it turns out okay and we end up with a night in Istanbul. We'll see. But hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed and... Wait, I'm going to stay in the airport for a day. For, we already yeah. booked the hotel in Mm -hmm. Hopefully we don't get stuck in the Istanbul airport. We for need a visa. It's fifty dollars per hours. person for. It's that much now. Wow. Oh my God. So we're gonna go to the airport, figure this out. Hopefully, it all works out for us. Hopefully, in twenty-four hours we'll be in Dubai. Yeah. Let's go to Dubai. Sooner right. or later we're gonna make it. And yeah, we might be in Istanbul too. So let's figure it out. Come along, guys. Well, step one done. We're at the train station waiting for the airport train and hopefully we, when we get to the airport we can at least get seats together or switch our flight or something. Alright, got to the airport. Heading over to Terminal 2. Hopefully not to fight too much with them. Here's your name on the huh. I guess. Alright, let's go. Let's so go see what we can get done at the check-in counter, huh, babe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna lose the hotel in Istanbul. We'll book it very fast. We did. Uh, like, how do you cancel a flight at, what was it, like midnight? Right. Thank goodness we were still up. When we made it through security, uh, we talked to the lady at the counter when we checked in, and she's like, too bad, enjoy your 14 hours in the Dubai airport. So luckily she said you can get visa on arrival now in Turkey. So we're gonna go, we booked a hotel room and we're gonna have a day in Istanbul, yeah babe? And no choice. And right now- The only now, best part is we have to leave very early in the morning tomorrow. We do. Our flight is like 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. Mm. Well, at least we're lucky enough that we can book hotels on the fly. So. And now we're gonna go to the lounge. Yeah. At least we can have a coffee. <laughs> So I guess it's not too bad. I was worried about getting the visas in Istanbul, but if it's visa on arrival, that makes it super easy. We're on the way to our gate. Oh, interesting thing we found out. We were hanging out at the lounge and we are glad we decided to leave early because passport there control. is a passport, passport control. control. And it only took us maybe five minutes to get through, but if you were late to your gate, that could give you a really bad day. So there's a security, and you can get into where like the restaurants are and the shops, but then after that, you gotta go through passport control. So give yourself plenty of time in Copenhagen to get to your gate. Right now, our, our uh, canceled flight became our early morning flight, which is now our delayed early morning flight. And this is our trip to Istanbul instead hey. of Dubai. 14 hours in Istanbul, here we come. Are you ready? I'm going on the plane. I'm going on the plane. We're going on the plane. So yeah, this one was only, scary. only uh, delayed again 10 minutes. So after they canceled our flight, they delayed it. Oh, well. I'm ready to get to Istanbul. Yeah. Hopefully we have energy to check it out and run around Istanbul again. Now we have a lot of energy. We're going shopping, baby. <laughs> Good thing you brought all that... Uh, Turkish lira. Turkish lira with you. We had a bunch left over from our last trip. We made it, babe. We are in Istanbul. Are you hiding? 
Welcome to Istanbul. So we made it. Not too bad of a flight. Turkish Air does have really good food, which is nice. Uh, down the hottest airplane I have ever been on. But when we walked up to first class, that AC was working. <laughs> so hopefully it's not a problem to go through passport control, immigration control. Uh, we're sort of lucky that we knew we needed a visa to go to Turkey, so we've already done it. We'll but see. It was easy to get the visa, but it cost fifty dollars per person. So, and your visa is good for ninety days out of one hundred and eighty days. But and we we're gonna stay the whole one day. day. <laughs> Just checked into our hotel in Dubai, the Intercontinental Marina. And look at this room. They upgraded us, they gave us a one bedroom suite. But that's not the good part. Good part is out here. Look at this view. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to get out and explore. So we booked a bunch of stuff. Today we didn't book much, thank I like goodness. this couch, it looks like my sister and my mom couch. The wallet, can I show you something I haven't seen? Okay, so here we have pots and pans. We have a full kitchenette. You have what, what did you show me? We got a fridge, fridge. it's over, oh, it's it's over here. Oh, okay. We have a washer and a dryer, a little apartment of washer and dryer, Look microwave. At that. Look at that, did you ever see a washer and dryer in the hotel room only yeah. in Dubai? This is more like a one bedroom condo. We also, this is the main room, the bedroom with a king size bed and its own bathroom. Of course with the day, nice big shower. Man, this is a heck of a room. Two bathrooms out. There's the one in the bedroom and the one over here. Now all we need is friends to come over, but we don't have any in Dubai. Oh, this is just a uh, no shower in there, just a toilet. We only stay for seven nights. 
we would like to stay here for a month. <laughs> we have our own house and the cheering top is actually in the view. Look at this view. I can see people in the pool over there. Come. Come show look. The pool is the refugee for our hotel is down here. We're a second 22nd floor out of 39 floors. 39 floors. We're 22 and everything look very far away. I can see the guy swimming. Look at him in the pool. Well, we're coming from Turkey. Our dessert is baklava with this view. What is better, the dessert or the view? It is insanely beautiful here. What those people did here amazed me in such a short time. Hey guys, welcome back to our vlog. We are in Dubai. Ooh, Dubai, I love it. Look at this beautiful Dubai. In the view, we're at the Dubai Marina right now. We're staying here at the Nintel Marina. So this is going to be our first impressions of Dubai, and it is a beautiful city. It reminds me a lot of Miami, like the, the waterfront and just all the tall buildings and condos and hotels. And we're going to take a walk along the, the Dubai Marina walk here. And then later, we're going to go to the Aurora Sky Pool Lounge, which is the highest infinity edge pool in the world. So that should be fun. And it's like, it just got dark out and it is still, it is hot and it is humid. But we're not complaining. We like it. We're enjoying. We're going to our pool. So on this heat, what do we need? We need a pool. And that infinity pool, it's around the building and you can see the whole Dubai from there. Like in every direction. It's supposed to be but super cool. This, if you, if you turn around, this is our beautiful hotel Intercontinental here. After and we, our, our room is on sec 22nd floor. floor and we see half of the Dubai from, from there, so it's so I beautiful. I don't think we see half of Dubai, but no, no. yeah, we see it's, a lot. At least we see in the um, marina, Dubai marina, where it's beautiful and there is boats going left and right. It's such a cool atmosphere and the vibe, I like it. So I believe this is one of the dinner cruises, the exclusive yachts. We're doing the earlier dinner cruise. This is the later one and two or three or four days, I think. It's one of the things we booked off our go-card. Although I made a mistake. You gotta be careful on the go-card because you have to make reservations for a bunch of the attractions to make sure you can get in. And some of them activate your card and I screwed up and one of them activated the card. So I have to call them tomorrow to see if we can fix it. And we only pay like 1400 almost for, for it. Two tickets, yeah. For a two seven day all-inclusive tickets on the go card. So let's see what we can have done for 1400 in Dubai. Yeah, let's see if, uh, if I can fix it, hopefully. I'll tell you what, my first impression of Dubai, it's just, it really reminds me of a Western city like Miami. Or I mean, Chicago. Chicago has got a lot of tall buildings. Yeah. By the, but by the Chicago river. isn't 90 degrees and humid as hell, <laughs> at least not most of the time. But there's people just out walking, exercising. People are all dressed in completely Western wear and their yoga pants and whatever. And the bra. Mm -hmm. Surprising. I thought they are more strict. I didn't give them usually a lot of, sh of my shirt. They have open uh, shoulders. shoulders. I didn't bring them because I, I was scared to don't show off anything in Dubai. And here, everybody's in the bra. Yeah, tank tops or whatever, shorts, girls, guys, nobody really seems to care. So this is interesting. We just passed an uh, underpass from the the city walk on the marina here and under all the underpasses it seems like they have these little kids play parks which is sort of fun because because it's in the shade yeah i guess all year round but it's nice that they build like little public spaces here and there right well wow, it really seems like we're on the quiet side of the marina the other side seems to have a lot more restaurants all lined up that's the part that sort of reminds me of miami just on this side they have a fitness the muay thai boxing he's busy <laughs> Very busy. Pretty busy, yeah. Looks like there's a ferry service that takes you across the bay here. 
Uh, let's see here. Dubai Marina Mall Marine Transportation Station. Yeah, so I guess you can take the ferry across the bay. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'll tell you this uh, bay walk, this <laughs> oceanfront walk here on the bay, they designed it in such a way that it is like big old S's. So it is a super long walk. So we gave up on walking and we're gonna grab a taxi because it was further than we wanted. Another first impression of Dubai, traffic is crazy here. It's our second taxi ride and both times we hit a little bit of traffic jams. All right, we made it to the hotel that our pool is at that we're gonna go check out later today. But we're here early, so we're gonna go check out the mall. That's right next door. Nakhil, Nakhil Mall. There was malls all over this damn place. And they're all, they all look brand new and beautiful. And we're gonna go to the biggest mall in the United Emirates. Yeah. And look, it's all American stores. So There's a Croc store, Forever 21. Oh, there we go, Super Dry. That's a Japanese brand, I believe. A shoe store, Nike, New Balance, Adidas, Puma. I mean, Sporting goods store downstairs. We, we're in American Mall, right? This is. A... I I think strategically next to the kids play, they put a McDonald's. I guess, but we are. I feel like in the we're eatery. In any American Mall. Yes. Like I don't feel like I went all the way to Dubai. That's for damn sure. Except mm. it's brand new, nice and clean and beautiful. But and probably if you go inside the store, you're gonna see the different on prices. Wow. Amazing. Ah, we have a pool out over the, or a day bed over the pool. How nice. So this box that you see here, guys, is yes. a complimentary gift for you. Oh, it's nice. It's like a bucket hat and playing cards inside. So this one you take it with you, okay? Very cool. Well, a complimentary you guys, bag. Well, then your screens will be to 11 p.m., okay? Yes. What do you think of this place, baby? I love it. I love it. It's amazing. I feel bad we eat before we got here because we could have food and food drinks here. here. But Wow, look at that Ferris wheel over there. So if you want to come here, we got a dead day bed for two and it was, I think, like $160 American, US. So it's not cheap, but just, I feel like some sort of rich high roller or something. I can't wait to go in the, the water, but we're gonna go around gonna just to look around, around to see so the city because it's our first night. Swim around the pool or around the whole building in the pool, or you can walk around the edge. We're gonna start by walking around and then we're gonna go change and uh, go for a swim. I, I'm guessing here is cheaper. Yeah, because you are not cl that close to the water, water uh, maybe, to the yeah. water. We are just the first. But they have ropes. Oh yeah, so these and are probably more. That would be crazy. Yeah. So you can see we're on the palm and these are the different fronds. On the outside, this all man-made island. It's beautiful and crazy. So a day bed at eight o'clock and we booked like three, four weeks ahead. And then we had to, there was like only the late time slot we could pick from. So if you want to come up here, you have to book way in advance, but it, I think it's worth it. This view is unbelievable. It really is beautiful. 